Hello everyone, welcome to FOC class 11. This video is part 3 of Java for class 11 IT information technology. Let us begin. Let us discuss what we will be studying today. These components are remaining and we will be discussing these three components today. JLabel, JTextArea and JPassword. So let us start. First of all, JLabel. JLabel provides text instructions or information. It displays a single line of read-only text and image or both text and image. So basically, by using JLabel, we can either put an image or text or both of them, but it can only be read means we cannot edit it the user cannot edit it at the runtime now how to use the j label first of all you will go to the palette then you will select label then you will place the label on your form here are few properties of j label and out of these properties some of the properties that are mentioned in book we will be studying background enabled font foreground horizontal alignment text all these properties we have already discussed in the previous properties third get text is enabled set text set visible all these methods also we have discussed i would like to remind you again that this is the syntax for these methods it may or may not come in your exam so you should at least learn a few of them to have an idea how to write syntax of method for example of get text set text because these are very common so you must know the syntax of get text and set text now let us discuss about j text area the text area component allows us to accept multi line input from the user or display multiple lines of information basically j text area is the component like an area and in this area the text is displayed which text the text that is taken as input from the user and this text can be multiple lines of information. So basically the information that we get from the user, this information is displayed in the J text area. This component automatically adds vertical or horizontal scroll bars as and when required during runtime. Suppose if the user has given a long text which is not properly displayed in the JTEXT area in the size we have selected. So it will automatically add the scroll bar. We do not need to add these scroll bar manually. They will automatically be added. Now let us see how to use JTEXT area. First of all, go to palette, then select text area. After selecting text area from the palette, you have to place it on the form. You can also resize it using these handlebars. These are some of the properties of JTEXT area. Out of these, we will be studying some properties as given in your book. Now let us discuss about the properties. Background. We have already discussed this property. Columns sets number of columns preferred for display. So whenever we want the text to be displayed in columns, then we can use the property columns to set the number of columns. Editable, enabled, font, foreground. We have discussed these properties. Then is line wrap indicates whether line of text should wrap in case it exceeds allocated width. As we have discussed that 
gtext area provides you automatically the scroll bar that in case the text is too long then there will be scroll bar so that you can view the text but in case you want the scroll bars not to be there and you want that the text should appear only in the size that you have fixed so in that case you will use the line wrap property you will set it to true so that the text is wrapped in case it will exceed the width which you have preferred then comes rows rows property is similar to the columns property in this rows property it sets the number of rows for the text then text it sets the display text we have already discussed it then it's wrap style word sends word to next line in case line wrap is true and it results in breaking of a word when lines are wrapped so basically if this option line wrap is true then in this case the word will go to the next line when we have set this property line wrap to be true and it will result in breaking of a word means whichever word is selected it will be broken and it will go to the next line now let us discuss about the methods append this is a new method and this is also important it is a very important method in case of gtext area adds data at the end it is the syntax so basically whichever text we want to be displayed in the text area it is used or it is displayed using the method append in the further videos we will be seeing the examples where we'll we will be using this method so it will be more clear to you get text is editable is enabled set text we have already discussed all these methods now comes j password the j password component is used to enter confidential input like passwords which are single line so in daily life also you use some websites or some apps which require password and you must have seen that whenever you are typing password the words are not displayed instead some specific characters are displayed so that the password characters or the words which you are typing are not visible to anyone else so basically this property is somewhere related to the j password let us understand it we can suppress the display of input as this component allows us to input confidential information like password means whenever we want to suppress the display of input we want that the input should not be displayed in the same manner as we are typing it if we are typing a b c then we do not want that the letters are to be displayed we want that some specific character is to be displayed then we will use the property j password each character entered can be replaced by an echo character so basically the character i was talking about the specific character it is known as echo character so each character that the user will enter it will be replaced by the echo character we can choose any echo character and by default it is asterisk means this star type symbol now let us see how to use password first of all go to palette then select the option password field now you have to place it on the j form here are few properties of j password and we will be discussing some of them as given in your book background font foreground text all these properties have already been discussed in the previous components eco care this is different let us discuss about it 
sets the character that will be displayed instead of text so as i have told in in password component basically the text that the user is giving to the computer as input that text will be replaced by some specific character and that specific character is known as echo character and for setting echo character we use the property echo care thank you that was all for today i hope this video was helpful for you we'll meet you soon in the next video where we will be covering the other components of java till then bye bye